In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I like to beat the man-to-man -man coverage out of the 5 wide in Madden 21. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We upload videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. So if you're looking to get better for Madden 22, right around the corner, we've got a lot of content that we're put, pumping out here on the YouTube channel. And we're going to have a ton more content coming for you for Madden 22. So again, like I said, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And real quick, we're actually going through this... Um, we're actually going through this this little five wide mini scheme here out of the uh, Balt or the the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offensive playbook. So if you want to get the full Tampa Bay Buccaneers five wide mini scheme, all you have to do is text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Again, text the word Madden to 208. 218-6900. That number is also at the top of the top of 10 corner of the screen. That's my cell phone number. And what I want you to do um, is just text that word in. And what we're going to do for you is we are going to basically send you a text message that has um, that, that that has the entire scheme broken down. I think we got an hour long breakdown for you uh, over there if you want to get that. So great resource for you if you've not already joined our text message membership. Real quick, what our text message membership is is our text message membership is a way that I can share free offenses and defenses with my subscribers every single week of the Madden 22 season. We released over 20 um, schemes in Madden 21, and if you want to get all of those and be able to sign up for all the stuff we're going to be doing in Madden 22, just simply text the word MADDEN to 208-218-6900. The, actually, the a lot of the schemes that you saw in the MCS, we actually have in that text message membership. So if you want to get that, it's an easy way. It's completely free. And again, all you have to do is text the word Madden to the number at the top of the 10 corner of your screen. That's also in the description as well. Okay, guys, so what I wanted to go over in this video is a really simple man-beating concept from this empty bunch wide out of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers playbook. This is quickly becoming my favorite offense in the game. Uh, between this and the empty tray stack, both of them are just so much fun to run. And um, I, I personally just really enjoy five wide. Uh, but anyways, this is a, a little man beater. I'm going to set a couple of audibles here. I'm going to grab the uh, drive corner, uh, or I already have the drive corner. I'm going to grab the um, uh, post corner read, which I have that too. I think I'm going to grab Z spot, if I can find it, Z spot smash. And then I'm going to grab um, one other one. Let me see if I can find it. Drag or uh, drive wheel. Okay. And then I'm going to come out and drag curl. Now, uh, real quick, little pro tip on this. Uh, for this specific route combo, um, it does help a little bit um, to have your bunch or your three wide receivers to the short side of the field um, because of the stack alignment we're going to get on the left. Now, you can do this without it, but it is, it is still effective with it. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to motion Brown over to the left side of the screen here, and I'm going to smart route him and then just basically snap the ball right in here. And what you're going to see is this corner route is going to get really good separation to the left side. Now, if they're if you're facing a lot of press man-to-man -man coverage, um, this is what I really like to do for that. And you saw that that's a real simple way to beat man. But even simpler, uh, what I like to do is I motion this guy over, but I'm gonna let him set his feet. And then what you're gonna see I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to go ahead and drag the R1 receiver. I'm gonna put the X on a post if I have hot remaster. If I don't, then I'll just leave him on a curl route. And then from there, uh, I'm going to take this square receiver and I'm going to put him on a flat route, just like this, and obviously smart route circle. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It basically looks like mesh post uh, with this corner route to the left. What you'll see this does um, against zone is you have your double drags in case they, you know, maybe you guess wrong. You have really good reads against pressure. You have really good reads against really everything the defense can do. But against man, uh, again, let me show you that setup. So again, I'm just going to smart route circle, uh, drag R1, flat square, and then I'm going to um, put X on a curl or a uh, post. Now, if they're impressed man-to-man -man coverage, what you're going to see here is circle is going to get kind of a free release off the edge and typically will get really, really good separation. Um, really, really good separation. Let me show you that again. And what you might need to do, what you might need to do and again, it just depends on how they're going to defend you. Because um, typically when they get him over here, you'll see repress. But you notice that this guy is off of coverage uh, alignment. So this is where we're creating kind of a, a little bit of a pick play uh, for the circle receivers. You see here, that's kind of more what we're looking for. Um, got him outside leverage. 
Now, another way that you can run this same concept is you can run this from the play post corner read. Um, so what you'll see I'll do here is I'm gonna motion over the X receiver now. And what's cool about this formation is whenever you motion somebody over, they always go to the same spot. So I basically am gonna do the same exact concept um, with the X. So you'll see here, I'm gonna go flat, I'm gonna go drag, and then I'm gonna go drag. And then you could choose if you wanna leave circle on the, um, on the C route, or if you want to put him on a post. I take, tend to leave him on the C route, actually. I think it's a pretty good route. Um, also, you know, there are times that I put him on a dig or a post or a curl. Um, it's just kind of up to you. The problem with him is if you put him on a post, you see it's a skinny post, which actually is kind of a good thing. We'll put him on a skinny post, smart, but watch the X. Look how wide open the X gets on this corner. Real smooth, real simple. So now let's say your opponent is running some zone drops. Um, they're doing some things. Uh, maybe they're doing something basically along these lines. They're going to put a purple, um, or not a purple, but a, whoops, um, they're going to put a, a flat zone there. And that flat zone is going to shade underneath. And then maybe, you know, to try to protect deep, they're going to do something like that along with that right there, right? This is a very popular defense, but they're still wanting to press. They're still wanting to press. Um, that's where I really like drag curl again, except this time what we're going to do is we're going to take the triangle receiver, we're going to put him on a slant route, we're going to take the R1 receiver, we're going to put him on a drag, and then we're going to take the X receiver, and I like to put him on a fade, just like that, and then what we're going to do is we're going to smart route the circle receiver and motion him across, and you're going to see it's going to create this little alignment trick, get him right behind his feet right here, let him set up. And then now what you'll see is that press man-to-man -man coverage really gets taken away. And as you see right there, this is going to kill press man-to-man, -man, as you can see over the top. Really smooth, really successful, really simple. Okay, so it's even better separation um, whenever you use like a slant or a vertical route as opposed to the drag. Let me show you that again. So again, I'm just going to, and I also have this vertical to square. But you see, we're going to create this concept right here. It's still basically mesh. The only difference is we might take X, and you can do one of two things. You can either put X on a flat or X on a fade. Uh, I tend to like to put him on a fade, but look at what this does to man coverage. There's no one even close to the circle receiver on that side. Um, so they really, really get taken in the man-to-man. -man. So what this is going to force your opponent to do is your opponent is going to have to start press coverage. They cannot go press coverage anymore. So you're going to get something like this. Um, this might be a, a defense that you're going to see. And what this is going to do is now it's going to open up all kinds of stuff uh, for you to be able to hit. One of the things that you might do, typically they will have something, you know, some kind of guy in the deep blue in the middle of the field. But because this, because of this specific type of route to Brown, um, it's a really nice corner route. So we're basically just going to run the same thing. Um, the only difference being is we're, and, and typically they'll go with the square receiver. Um, but anyways, we're just going to have this with a post and normally the user will be occupied by the post. So when you bring this guy over, you get this little release in man to man, and you can actually throw this kind of over the top. Um, if, if, if you know that it's, if you know that it's off man, like, you know, that they're likely to not be pressing, um, they're likely to be shading their coverage up because you beat them a couple times or whatever, then that's where I like to actually go ahead and not smart route this route to circle. Um, and what you'll see, and we don't even need to do any of the routes, I just wanna show you the circle receiver. But what you'll see is you get this free release and see how deep he goes, see how he gets over the flat, over the cloud? And Brady kind of can't get the ball that far, but he does get over the top of him. And then another way that you can attack this in on this play, especially if you have Hot Route Master, is by using um, out and up routes. So when we motion circle over, what it does is we basically are going to put X on an out and up, smart route the out and up, and then we're going to do our drags just like so. And then what I would recommend is just leaving the square on that fade. I think that fade is a really good route. Um, you could also put him on a post. But again, you just motion over. And now what you have is you have two bombs on both sides of the field. If they're in cover, cover one, uh, even if they're shading over the top, you're going to beat, beat that coverage over the top. So that's a real simple way to do it. Um, there's so many ways to beat man-to-man -man out of this playbook. Real quick on the, the topic of maybe like if they're going to blitz you out of man coverage, um, just so that you can have some, you know, some things prepared. What I like to do is that first play where we're using that slant 
Um, we're using this little fade right here. We're smart routing the circle receiver. And then on this backside, you've got a drag. And then really whatever you want to do, whether it be a fade or a flat route. But if you look, I mean, it's so clear cut that he's going to get that press, that win on, on, the, on the snap. They're not going to be able to get the pressure in if they go press man. Now, if they go, if they, you know, some people like to basically run press man, but they're going to, and blitz you, but they're going to shade over top. In that case, um, what I actually like to do against someone that does something like that, obviously we've got that motion over, we've got this route right here, we've got a slant, and then, like I said, you could do whatever you want with X. This is where I really like to use little whip routes and stuff like that. You'll see this whip route um, will get easy separation right on the cut. You obviously are still going to have, you know, if you had um, Hot Route Master, uh, one of the things that I really like to do is to use a corner route to uh, Godwin. Let me show you just real quick what that does against off coverage man. So if you're getting a look like this, this is a great way to, it's just a great way to attack it. Um, you're going to have a lot of success because, uh, again, he's just isolated and Godwin has obviously got good route running. So as long as they don't have one step ahead on that corner, that out route is going to be a good read. If you're um, if you're in regs and you don't have uh, hot route master, then what you can do is you can just put him on a smart routed out route, um, similar to the flood concept. Um, the biggest thing is, as you can see here, you don't want to you don't want to use Evans on a slant um, because it's going to just mess the spacing up. But as you can see, easy read against man. You also got your two drag routes, which will get open as well. So that is how you beat man to man coverage from. The empty bunch wide it's one of the best five wide man beaters uh, in the game so if you're struggling with man to man this is a great offense for you um, the empty tray stack has great man beaters as well this one is a little bit more um, glitchy because it has so many natural picks and rubs that you can create against man to man so thanks for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it if you want to get that full uh, empty bunch scheme or you just want to get signed up for our text message membership and all the content we're bringing to you in Madden 22 then I would encourage you to uh, text the word Madden to 208-218-6900